However, due to all the snow and everything, I've been driving around in my car and I recently noticed my radio doesn't work. And we're gonna to try to figure out why. And I did a little bit of troubleshooting already, but I'm just gonna get you caught up here. You might be saying, Frank, your car's not on, but how we wired it up, it doesn't matter. So here we go. This is the first fuse in the line. I'm just gonna hit it real fast with the voltmeter and to just to see if it's still good. Point there, point there, 12 volts, perfect. Point where our line's coming off. The line is coming off here. That is 12 volts register. So we know at least the battery and lines are kind of good, at least the connection points. So let's take a look at the fuse here. I put a 30 amp in there and it looks like it's okay. We're gonna do a continuity test. Register is okay. Make positive a positive, negative a negative. Solid 12 volts. Test the fuse. Fuse looks like it's good. Continuity, fuse is good. For the heck of it, I pulled the other fuse where the radio is on. Continuity good. I was thinking that it could be the little frayed leaves touched and that might have caused the, the fuse to be blown. I think I am still gonna try to fix that right now. Electrical tape, you can also probably use some shrink wrap to get it right too. I'm doing this just on the wire because we don't wanna ruin the slide connection between the connectors, the white, black and red connector. Put the fuse back in, final test. <gasps> no, 